we are making a ketified version of crispy air fryer fish today. So stay tuned. Last weekend, I tried a brand new recipe that I found on Pinterest for fried fish in the air fryer, and the seasonings made it so amazing. Like Caesar fell in love with the fish, and he's like, we can have this every week. So guess what? We're making it again this week, and I wanted to share the recipe with you. I thought the seasoning in this was so good together that it might even work for chicken tenders or zucchini fries or anything else that you want to bread and put in an air fryer, maybe even mozzarella sticks. This recipe is super, super simple and super fast. You can make this in the air fryer in less than 15 minutes. I found this recipe on Pinterest and it led me to a website called littlesunnykitchen.com and I just made a swap of instead of breadcrumbs, I'm using pork rinds and completely ketofied this dish. These are the ingredients you're going to use. You just need olive oil or avocado oil to coat your fish before dipping it into the breading. You're gonna need one quarter teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of salt, one quarter teaspoon of onion powder, one quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, one quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of paprika and a cup of crushed pork rinds. I bought this box, but you can actually just get your own pork rinds and put them in a food processor to crush them up. So I bought these frozen tilapia fillets at the grocery store and I defrosted about four fillets. You wanna make sure your fillet is well coated in olive oil on both sides and then you're going to dip it in your pork rinds, your seasoned pork rinds. My little air fryer only has room for two fillets, so I'm gonna have to cook the other two separately, but it's not gonna take that long to cook these, so it works out. You're gonna cook it at 390 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. So let's do, let's do 13 minutes and start. And then I'll bread up the other fillets while this is cooking. And of course, no fish meal can be complete without tartar sauce. So we're gonna make our own homemade tartar sauce while the fish is cooked in the air fryer. just about anything. So whenever you feel like, oh, this is getting too hard, I don't think I can make it, I really miss my favorite foods, there's a recipe out there for those favorite foods. You can have keto pizza, you can have keto ice cream, you can have keto fried fish. There's so many different options out there. I've got the Southern Comfort Keto Cookbook uh, that I'm gonna share with you in another video because I wanna pull out some recipes and try them out on my family and see how they turn out. And I encourage you to find the recipes that you want of your favorite foods and stay on track, you know, figure out a way to still stay keto and have the things that you love. Yum. All right, so when it's ready, I don't like to take the fish out with tongs because it'll make it crumble. So I get a spatula and just carry it out. There it is, the fish is ready. Now we just need to finish the plate off with some sides. I just squeeze a little bit of lemon on all the fish. All right, this is the final plate. We 
paired our crispy air fryer fish with cauliflower rice and green beans sauteed in butter and bacon. And we have our tartar sauce ready to go. Yum. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I know you have a million other videos that you could watch, so I thank you for taking the time to hang out with me over here in Ketosis Focus. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you're gonna try this recipe, how it turned out, if you're gonna use the breading for something else like zucchini fries or shrimp or chicken tenders or something. Let me know how it turned out. I'd love to hear it. And give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.